ABC Action News is sponsored by Reeves Import Motor Cars and by Millionaire Air Conditioning and Heating. Good morning, Tampa Bay. Let's get your day started. This is ABC Action News, taking action for you. We're going to get to your weather forecast with Greg D in just a moment. It has been a beautiful week. Good morning, I'm James Tully. First up, though, here are your ABC Action News headlines. The Florida Department of Health revealing eight new cases of COVID-19 coronavirus yesterday, including three in the Bay Area. A 67-year-old man, a 64-year-old man testing positive in Pinellas County, a 46-year-old man testing positive in Pasco. Officials say all of the new cases are travel related. And in New York, the governor has ordered a containment zone in New Rochelle after a cluster of cases were reported there. That's in the southeastern part of the state. Schools and facilities are closed inside that zone. The National Guard is now deployed to help deliver food and also clean buildings there. Several major health insurance companies are waiving co-pays for people to be tested for coronavirus. The point here is to encourage anybody who might be sick to get tested rather than skip the test to save money. Vice President Mike Pence announced the plan Tuesday. He said the insurance companies, although they have not been named yet, represent almost 240 million Americans. Pence says the companies agreed to cover telemedicine for virtual visits and promised there'd be no, quote, surprise billing. Two Hillsborough County schools will pioneer a new career-oriented path next year. The mental health track will offer students training to help them become psychologists, social workers, or guidance counselors. This will be available at the Tampa Bay Technical High School and Lado High School. Starting later today, Manatee County residents can report problems by calling 311, the non-emergency line set up now to deal with things like potholes, noise complaints, the launch set for 311 p.m. today. Leaders say anybody who dials 311 inside Manatee County will be able to report complaints or get information on local elected officials or information on flood zones. Happening this week in Oldsmar, this brand new Pinellas County art project is going to open on Saturday close to City Hall. It's called Spacecraft, based on make, play, read, and grow. People invited to this hands on experience inside and outside shipping containers. The kickoff begins. Saturday at 10 a.m. You can read more about this on abcactionnews.com. Now, the Florida and Florida State men's basketball teams are going to play tomorrow in their respective conference tournaments. Right now, both the ACC and SEC are allowing fans to watch games, even though other conferences have canceled tournaments or are keeping fans out because of coronavirus, something certainly to keep an eye on. Now, here's Greg D. with your... Hey there, James. Looks like a really nice afternoon for us here around the Bay Area as we start off on this Wednesday morning. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s by the afternoon. We'll be climbing into the low 80s with plenty of sun. Get your latest hour by hour forecast by downloading the ABC Action News app.